Today we are transforming this old closet door into something much more interesting to look at by adding a pop of color and some pattern. You'll need a paper towel, tape, your paint, I'm using a warm color palette to complement the room, a dauber, and your stencil. I mixed a gold metallic shade with my yellow shade to add a bit of a sheen to the paint. Once you've taped up your stencil, grab your dauber and make sure to equally distribute the paint on the sponge by dabbing off the excess onto a paper towel. Remember we do this to reduce bleed through when we're stenciling. Using light dabbing motions, I'm just filling in the whole stencil. A very important part when creating a continuous pattern is to line up the registration marks on your stencil. Take your time when aligning them and remember you don't have to repaint those areas on your next stencil. I like to keep this trusty stool next to me so I can tape my stencil to it when I need a break to avoid mess on any other surfaces and it's also readily available right when I need it. I continued with the rest of the pattern and came to realize I didn't have enough room to fit a whole nother stencil, but to solve that problem, I just applied half of the stencil. There's nothing tricky about this, just tape up your stencil like before and then fill in the desired areas to fill your remaining space. I went ahead and filled in the bottom section of the door and decided I wanted to have a colored border as well. Using an angled brush and a continuous motion, I applied the yellow color. Applying equal pressure during this process can assist in a more clean, crisp border. This door has truly transformed into an art piece. It's amazing how a simple geometric pattern and some complementary colors can bring such more life to a room. Head to our website to check out more of our stencils and don't forget to tag us on social media with your stencil art.